Hi folks, Tim Ritter coming at you from the workshop here at uh, Frog Acres. And I uh, thought today we'd talk about blow mold because there's no such thing as a bad time to talk about blow mold. Uh, and uh, this past weekend we uh, got word that there was a, a swap meet going on down in uh, Ozark, Missouri, uh, down by uh, some of the, the antique shops that are down there. And we heard that there was somebody that had some blow mold. And so we thought we'd better go down there. And as you might have guessed, we found a few things that we just couldn't live without. Uh, and I've got a few of those right back here. Uh, and as you can see, we're covering uh, several holidays here. There's uh, some Halloween, there's some Easter, there's some Christmas, there's another Halloween. Uh, and uh, what's kind of cool about this uh, with these soldiers here, uh, see, I'm going to be putting some of these out uh, here in the not too distant future along with my Uncle Sam's. I've got a couple of Uncle Sam's and we've got a big flag and, and we've got a bunch of these soldiers. And that works out real well with a patriotic theme. And so uh, I'll be setting that out for Memorial Day, and that'll hang around until after the 4th of July because, you know, we have to have the yard decorated uh, just about all the time. But uh, anyway, and then, uh, of course, I've got these uh, Dickens carolers back here. Uh, that's what those are referred to as uh, Dickens carolers because they kind of, you know, go back to that... Uh, that time frame around the time of uh, Christmas Carol and all that kind of stuff and kind of wanted to grow that set. And then of course I've got this uh, jack-o'-lantern here. But one other thing I wanted to show you, this is a little more long-term project that I've got here. This witch that I found at a uh, garage sale. And uh, as you can tell, she's kind of uh, in bad shape. She uh, looked like she'd been beat up pretty badly. It was a, a good price for it. So I thought I should go ahead and get it. But apparently the way that she's supposed to operate is uh it, it's it's motion sense uh, motion sensor on this and when it's activated she rises up to almost full size and starts talking and then this is a skull that's in a crystal ball and it's supposed to talk and i think it sings and all that kind of stuff but um very little of it works and uh, i've been able to isolate some of the wires down here in her head so that i can get some of that working but i'm not sure if the servo motors that are in her legs are ever going to work so she might just be short i don't know but that's something i'm going to be working on this summer trying to get her rewired and, and and back to operational of course she's not waterproof so i'm not real sure what i'm going to do there but she might just wind up being in some kind of enclosure or something i'm not sure but anyway she's something to work on and i'll see what i can uh, can make happen with her but anyway just thought i would uh, share that with you because like i said there's no bad time to talk about blow mold and God knows I need more. So uh, anyway, that's a little scene from uh, here at the uh, workshop at Frog Acres and uh, catch up with you later. Thanks.